How's it going, everybody? Beautiful people. This is Jose Trujillo, world's greatest living artist, coming to you here from the car studio. Yes, it's the car studio. Look at this hair. Man, I'm looking good. Muy guapo. Muy guapo. How's it going, Juan Bruto? So, guys, I wanted to talk to you guys about, about today uh, this quote by Pablo Picasso, the great, the El Toro, Pablo Picasso, the bull. Uh, this quote, I think, that says very much, it, it states very much what people have been asking me over and over in different ways. Like, how do you use reference photos? Do you use reference photos? How do you, how do you do that? Uh, um, it, it's, it's almost, it's almost one of those things that, that it's an obvious question if you haven't, if you haven't done it. Like, if you haven't done it enough, if you haven't created artwork enough, I can see where that comes from. Uh, there was a saying in the old, well, not a saying, but they, they used to say in the old, uh, I remember reading this, in the old traditional schools, the Barbizon schools and the, the, the realist schools, the, the, the pre, uh, pre-impressionist pre era, right? <laughs> Let's call it that, pre-impressionist era, that's something cool. Uh, they used to say, look, when you paint a, the masters back in the day, right? They used to say, when you paint something, you paint a, 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 the female uh, figure or any figure, right? It has to be a mix mash of the the Roman sculptures and the, all the thousands of other artists. I, you know, I see why they were saying that. The impressionists didn't like that, but I, I, I feel like I can see why. I, also, the impressionists didn't like that because they were, they were, they were, they were more avant-garde, right? So they were trying to remove themselves from that utilizing some of those things but removing themselves completely at some point in order to to bring about something new uh picasso said good artists copy great artists steal right something like that uh when 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 we think of this kind of stuff usually we we, we say oh yeah well because picasso, picasso was a thief you know he was stealing the ideas from brock and he was stealing the ideas from matisse and 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 on and on and on and on I think people that say that it's just they they bought they bought into the whole uh, <laughs> West Coast East Coast artist <laughs> thing happening with Picasso and Brock and you know like this this war happening between who was more talented and who was stealing from who and I think that's a bunch of BS. It was it was most likely created by the of course by the uh, media back in the day, maybe later. Uh, and, and also by the galleries because the galleries cared about creating conflict, right? If you create conflict, you create drama and we know what drama looks like because we have the Kardashians and that pulls in a lot of views. So they, they knew what to, you know, they knew to do that. But my understanding of that when Picasso's like, dude, good artists copy, great artists steal, is that I believe, based on, based on my experience, what he's trying to say is you have to know how to use references like you have to learn how to use references without copying it you know so in a way you're you're almost quote-unquote stealing it right but you have to know how to use it if you take a photograph of i don't know uh let's take for for example uh what was this what was this cat's name the guy who did barack obama uh shepherd uh yeah shepherd i think it's his, his name uh, he got into like a whole mess, right? Because he took a photograph and basically he just kind of just essentially just changed the, the 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 colors and and but he but he left the same staple, right? There was no change. There was no there. It was only change in in in, in the tones of uh, the colors. So because he was famous, well, he got into a huge mess. If he wasn't famous, like, nobody would care, right? But he was famous, so they knew they could milk that, that, that poor guy. Uh, well, not poor, but you guys know what I mean. <laughs> they could milk him. I think he, he, he's an exception, of course. But I think he, he wasn't applying what Picasso said in regards to good artist copy, great artist steal. He was essentially just copying the image, you know? And this is a thing that that bugs many many artists. Like, how do I do it? How do I do it? How do I how do I create artwork? And where do I get the ideas for the artwork? 
how do I use reference photos? Do I use reference photos? Do I have to, every time I have to create something, do I have to take the photo myself? Or do I have to go out in plain air, out in the open air and paint it myself? And on and on and on and on. And we, we don't realize that, I, I believe anyways, we don't realize that we have to depend a lot in our imagination. Like we have to, like a lot has to depend on imagination. A lot has to depend on practice. Like, like doodle every day. And it doesn't matter if you're copying a, 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 a like copying, right? A, a photograph, but you're doodling and you're learning how to do that. Like doodle to learn how to do that. Doodle to, 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 to learn how to make it yours. So that, Again, because Picasso said, good artists copy, great artists steal, right? Learn how to make it yours. And that's, I think that that's one of the biggest challenges that artists have. I'll be back, guys. I have to answer this phone call. Don't go away. Everybody's there? Hope everyone's there. How's it going? I'm back. So, again, guys, that's, that's what I believe that he was trying to... Uh, uh, say, you know, good artists copy, great artists, great artists steal. I think he was trying to say, look, the better you get, you learn how to make it your own. Why? Because there's only so much, there's only so much the, the artists start, uh, when we create artwork, there's only so much that we, that we, uh, we count on. We don't realize that we have, we have all this knowledge, all this practice, we don't realize and we don't we, we don't go to uncontested waters too. Many of us don't do that. Many do, but many of us don't do that. I know because I was very guilty of this. For example, if you're creating something, you're painting something, you have to rely a bit on your imagination. This is one of the reasons why Degas, the great painter, the, the ballerinas that, that, that he was one of the he was contemporary with impressionists. I guess he was he was too an impressionist in in some way. Uh, he he said, even when you're painting from nature, you still have to compose, right? And and I don't think he was just talking about like 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 you know pleasing to the eye composition for 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 I don't know artist artist composition and and all these techniques and whatnot. I think he was he was he was also touching when he said that he was touching on the fact that when you're painting something, you are using also. You're composing by using your 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 imagination, your your experiences, and all of that stuff. You know, you're you can't just you can't just you can't just go out and paint uh, barbatim. <laughs> I guess you can. A lot of artists do, but then you're not practicing. That's the problem. You know, that's the problem. That if you do that, you're not practicing. Like try to try to get a photograph, a picture of a bird. You know. And this is something that I learned from 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 looking at, at master master artists. No, and I'm not even gonna go like that because they are master artists. It just sounds funny when people say master artists, right? Uh, this older people that been painting their whole life. Uh, I heard it from this artist who said, "Look, try to paint the same image in different angles in your mind, like flip it in your mind, and then doodle it, right? So you're so you're exercising your your your." Your, your 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 vision you're exercising your brain you're 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 essentially flipping it you know in your in your in your mind and you're you're going beyond what is comfortable you know paint a you, you see a picture of a horse okay okay draw the horse but then also draw it imagine it how it would look like if, if its head was turning you know from upside down from the back from you know like do some dynamic it's called dynamic drawing too uh, that way, when you see an image, like Picasso said, right, or when you see a mountain or whatever, you know, you learn how to steal it, you know, quote unquote steal. You're not stealing it, but you learn how to suck the information that you need only. And this is one of the things that I never touched on it because because people seem to get confused. They're like, they're like, oh, I need a reference photograph. I never because they see a lot of artists. There's a trend right now. A lot of artists they put little, you know. Uh, little boxes of light and then they'll put like a little you know i don't know some some some, some steel life right they're trying to create steel lives uh well they're not trying they're doing it 
They put a little shoe or a little tomato or something and, and you know, and or a little teacup and then they paint that. And I think that's fabulous. It's really nice. It's 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 very Vermeer-esque the way they approach. Uh, but but you, they're missing something. They're missing something. And and I'm not I'm not bashing on them because I think that, that that each each of us has our own road. But I wouldn't do it that way, right? The reason why I say I wouldn't do it that way because you're missing and practicing your and exercising your imagination. If you just do it from photographs, you're you're missing exercising on your imagination. So you, you know, again, what I what I practice is 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 do some dynamic drawing. If you see a, a even if if even if I'm doing a portrait painting, let's say someone wants a portrait, I still change it up. I still change it up. I'll, I'll I, I won't do it like the photograph. And I'm not saying this just to be like cocky or whatever. Like, oh no, I'm not gonna copy it right from. It doesn't make any sense because it's it's art. So it, it comes from it comes from something else, right? It doesn't come from from just looking at it. It's all these things coming together. It's your imagination, your memory. You know, imagination and memory are com two completely different things, right? Memory is, is experiences you've had. Imagination is is you're going beyond. You're going something that you haven't you haven't experienced yet. Something you 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 know nothing of, right? And 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 it's creative, right? So so I'll change it up. I'll change up the light. If the light is on this side, I'll change it to the other side just to see. Just to to challenge my 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 brain, and it will come up looking, you know, like whatever, right? Because a lot of people get get confused by it. They're like, "Well, it doesn't look right. Uh, it doesn't look realistic. It doesn't look detailed." That's not the 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 look. If if that's your jam, that's awesome. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to 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 learn how to extract what I need. You know, and when I extract what I need, it doesn't come with all the information because I don't need all the information. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Like if I'm looking at a, if I'm looking at a landscape, I'm only going to extract certain things. I don't need all the information. And then other information, I'm going to put it based on my memory. And then other information in the painting, I'm going to put it based on my 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 attitude that day maybe i'm very uh, I'm, I'm i feel more invigorated right so it's the, the strokes are, are 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 harder you know the 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 colors might be might be brighter or you know so all those things come into play and and also i'm going to i'm going to base it out of my uh my point of view also my personal point of view right because everybody has their own their personal point of view. So I believe that that's what Picasso was talking about. Good artists copy, great artists steal. What he's what I believe he's trying to say is you get the the inspiration from something, right? You look at a at a, at a for example, I just painted the triumph of Bacchus. Uh, uh my my version of it, right? A famous painting by by Velázquez. I created a 4 by 6 feet painting. Uh based on that right and what i did was i essentially just you know stole it right he he painted it he painted it i don't know like what 500 years ago something like that essentially i just got it and i sucked what i wanted out of it and then the rest of it i put my my uh my my point of view my colors my idea of it uh my uh, also, my skill level is in there, right? Because you, you can't paint more than your skill. You, you can only paint as, as your skill level allows you, right? So my skill level is there. Uh, and also, I don't put all the information because, because I know that the viewer is also putting in their experiences. As they're, ex as they're experiencing the painting, you know, I know it sounds a bit, you know, a bit more esoteric, but as they're experiencing the painting, as they're looking at the painting, they're filling in the gaps with their own experiences. That's why I believe that 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 painting is more subject. Is, is you suggest something? You're not trying to 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 uh, mimic something, right? You're suggesting something. When you paint something, you're suggesting it. You're suggesting a, an idea. You're suggesting a, a memory. You're suggesting a thought. You're suggesting uh, uh, 
a landscape, if you're looking at a landscape and you paint it, you're suggesting it. It's not, it's an interpretation. No matter how realistic it is, realism is only an idea that we keep, and it keeps morphing, right? It keeps morphing. That our idea, our idea of realism is very different today than it was 500 years ago. You know, now we use, I, now we use words like hyper realism. Why? Because we have magnifying glasses and we have, we have different things that allow us to see different things, you know, and unfold and, and view the world in different ways. So even that changes, right? Our idea of realism has changed tremendously. Our idea of abstraction has changed tremendously. Even though people are like, well, I can do abstract. Well, yeah, no, if you, if you do it, if you, if you actually just create abstract work, if that's your cup of tea, you're not going to do it. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be easy. It might look easy to someone who is, you know, to the untrained eye, <laughs> but it's not easy. Nothing is easy. Realism is not easy. Abstraction is not easy. Expressionism is not, none of it is easy. If it was easy, any, anyone could do it and not anyone can do it. That's a lie. That's a misconception. Not everyone can do it and not anyone can do it uh, at, a, at a professional level, much less. Not everyone can do that. So otherwise people wouldn't be paying for it. It's, 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 it's a difficult task. And those of us who create artwork, we know no matter what your discipline, your style of painting is, it's difficult. So again, what does Picasso mean by saying good artists copy great artists steal? Well, one more time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to touch on it. I believe he meant, look, when you are, because this is, this is another thing that people keep asking, right? How do you use reference photos? Do you use reference photos? How do you do it? Uh, do you copy? Do you not copy? Look, what he's saying is if you want to be a good artist, go ahead and copy something, right? Take a photo of someone and, 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 and copy it and make a portrait and, and good, right? You'll, you'll, be, you'll be fine, right? But what he's saying, if you want to get to that level, you have to learn how to suck the information basically steal it and make it yours and this this is with anything you know this is with anything i don't think he was talking about what most people think about when when they hear this phrase they talk about how picasso and brock you know were in this in this uh thing you know that they were stealing ideas from each other or matisse and picasso and i think i think that happened because it was it was by osmosis they were around each other so of course they're going to learn from each other again that that was happening right there were they were they were artists are sponges so they were sucking from each other right if 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 i look at a car right now or a, a horse or whatever right and then i have to paint the horse three years from today right part of that memory is going to seep through there if if it doesn't i'm no i'm not a good artist if it doesn't i'm not a good artist i can't just copy the photograph you know part of that memory of looking at that horse if I paint the horse three years from now or a week from now, part of that memory will, even if I'm looking at a photograph, someone says, paint my horse, you know, paint Lucy for me or whatever the horse name is, right? <laughs> part of that is going to, is going to come out. It's going to come out because I believe in, I believe in putting in your spin, right? You have to put in your spin. And so again, to answer that question, many, many artists have asked me already, like, like you use reference photos. How do you do it? Uh, look, I believe it's just a practice thing. Doodle, doodle, doodle. A lot of people believe in in getting something, do it right the first time. I don't, I don't think, I don't think in the in those terms. I think that you should doodle a human figure a thousand different ways in, in a thousand different poses, you know, and, and 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 challenge your mind to see it in different ways. You know, challenge your mind to see it in different ways. So that when you're painting something, you have this dynamic thing happening. This is, I used to be a guitarist. I, I still i still am, I guess, right? I always say that. I still am. I don't play anymore, but I used to play. I used to, I used to play all the time. I used to play in bands and I used to play. When I was younger, I used to play kind of for a living, right? I made part of my living doing that. One of the things that I, that I realized that the older guitarists used to do, the older musicians, is that, is that is that they focus more on leaving blank spaces than filling out than filling in every single gap? They 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 they, they, they were so good that they knew where to where to where not to play, right? When I was younger and I was starting out to play, I was always trying to fill in the gaps. I was always trying to to see where where I could oh my turn to shine. There's a solo coming up for me, right? But as I started learning more and more and being around more more professional artists, I started realizing 
that the, the more pro, the more simplistic they became, the more purposeful, the more pur purposeful and simplistic they became. And yes, some of them were very, very uh, elaborate in the way they played, but it was still simple. It was, it was, it was the most strange thing. I didn't, I didn't experience that later until I started uh, creating artwork uh, full time, because I used to create artwork all the time and didn't realize that. Didn't realize the power of creating space, right? Creating space when you're when you're creating painting, you're creating space, and I think that you're able to do that when you're not copying verbatim, if, if that's even a phrase. I just, I think it sounds cool, verbatim. Uh, when you're not just, you know, when you're not just copying leaf by leaf from a tree. When you're looking at a tree and, 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 and you, you, you grab what you need from it and what you don't need, you, 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 you finish the composition with your mind. You finish the composition with your, with your uh, you know, with your memory, whatever. So I'll leave you guys with that. I hope that you guys got any value from here. I hope I made any sense. Take care. Till next time. Adios.